But why are men so uncomfortable with women speaking about sex openly? Why do you think? I don't know. It's, I don't, that's like a, it's a massive topic. But I think it's because, okay, you're looking at a woman as a mother, mm. as someone that looks after the family and then she's talking about sex. But it you know, that's a, I, I, even that, I'm sorry, I just find that's problematic as well, that a mother is still a sexual woman. I know, a mother, still, a mother still enjoys sex. Yes. And it doesn't mean because and she's and a mother. Some men, and I do get this question quite a lot, is that, there's some men that they lose desire in their yeah, life once they, they have a child, once they yeah. have a child. and the problem is because it's up to see them as a mother as this figure that mm-hmm. is no more essential being that, and it's yeah. like i don't want you to use your mouth to kiss my child what you to yeah. pleasure me and it's like why are you making out as if a mother can't a couple be mother, sexual yeah. whereas you yeah. can be a multifaceted person you could be a father you could be you could an be, employer yeah. or you could be an employee mm-hmm. you could also be a sexual deviant if you wanted to be mm-hmm. you could be his pleasure someone in the bedroom but the woman she can only be a mother yeah. or someone that's yeah she can't, she can't and that's a problem i think like sexually liberated she yeah. can't do the thing she was doing before she had a child yeah. And now that's actually like a good. I don't know. Yeah, that's. And I think a lot of it. it is I, I think a lot of it is, 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 is how men we view women. Yeah. Like it's, we put them in boxes. Mm-hmm. Kind of thing. And even the concept of being sexually liberated. My issue with the. It's, I think it's been hijacked now. So, like a woman can be sexually liberated and be celibate. Mm-hmm. She can be sexually liberated. Yeah, and it doesn't mean she's sleeping with every. She can be sexually know. liberated yeah. and having multiple partners. Yeah. But Unfortunately, when a woman speaks openly about it sex... It means that she's sleeping around. Yeah, or, yeah. and people will, will equate that to being sexually liberated, meaning she's promiscuous, mm-hmm. but it doesn't necessarily mean that. Yeah. And there could be a woman who is sexually liberated, but she's waiting for a committed relationship. Yeah. But because how we view sexual liberation is that, oh, she must be promiscuous. So yeah. a lot of it, I think we do need to challenge yeah. our understanding about female sexuality mm-hmm. and like, not for women in boxes kind of thing. Yeah. So what do you feel about WAP, whereas pussy... Her. No, but um, <laughs> on the younger generation. Yeah. Um, for me personally, I don't think it's that serious because when people do say these things, I'm thinking, what are you expecting the kids to grow up and do anyways? They're going to grow up and be sexual beings regardless. This is what humans are kind of put on the earth to do anyways, to have sex and reproduce. So it's like... They're saying that if you don't, they don't see this kind of content, then for some reason, they're not going to have sex. So I don't know what... I, I think the, some people's reservation with the song is that like, there's some lyrics that were kind of like saying it along the lines of, in order to get a tuition fee, I slept with someone or something like that. Oh, okay, so I get what you're like saying. So it's like using sex in exchange oh, for okay, services. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I think that's what people have a problem with. Yeah, it's yeah. It's like, okay, if you're openly speaking about sex and like what Lisa was saying, these are like considered to be role models, then mm, a lot mm. of young children will aspire And then to I that. think it desensitizes children towards sex. I yeah. feel like even using your virginity yeah. is something you should do when you're ready, when you understand what sex is. Yeah. When you talk about sex so freely, it makes them think, oh, just another day, like just go and have sex. Yeah. And it shouldn't be like that. It should still be like a special, like something special to a child. They haven't started having sex yet. It shouldn't just be like, oh, I'm just going to go lose my virginity. So I feel like when you, when children listen to such sexualized songs, it desensitizes them to what sex actually is. Mm. Like, and they want to try it out. Like they they want to try it. But so what, okay. like the Cuties film, I don't know if anyone saw that. I haven't seen that yet. I haven't seen it, I don't intend to see it, mm. but the gist of it is that you've got a young um, Senegalese woman, I think, living in France, mm. um, who she's trapped between two cultures, her, her like African Muslim culture mm. and then like westernized, sexually liberated culture. And from a relatively young age, I think between eight and eleven, she starts to dress provocatively and mm. follows mm. all of these artists. Mm. And it's very, to me, it looks quite ch- like p- pornographic. I mean, mm. um, Peter Filia, sorry. Yeah. Mm. But it's like this idea that when I'm exposed to what it is to be liberated mm. as a woman, being sexually liberated, people em- emulate that, which is like children. Yeah. So I think that's dangerous. And I yeah. Think that's why mm. people like they're seeing, well. they're seeing all this dress that they're half naked. They think, okay, yeah, this is normal. It's yeah. not normal. Yeah. It's not bad, but for a child, it's not normal. They're, mm. they're, they don't have mm. the, like, the awareness of what being half naked causes. Mm. Like, do you think nowadays people are afraid to pass judgment? You know, a lot yeah. of people because say, everyone's so politically correct. Yeah. No one wants to say anything yeah. and they have people mm. like, coming after them. Yeah. But for children, like no, you're seeing right. what Cardi B's seeing and thinking, oh yeah, this is normal, I'm going to go and do it. Mm. And this is where paedophiles yeah. come into it. it, 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 it seeing small mm. girls dressed half naked. 
they think, oh yeah, I look like Cardi B, but they don't know they're attracting yeah. people yeah. attention and stuff like that. To them, it's innocent because they're children. They don't understand. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I do agree. And I think that's why when we look at like Asian African cultures, young children were speaking about sex or they were, were taught about sex. Mm -hmm. like it was taught by a number of elders yeah. and it was taught in a safe space yeah. where it was either women only or men only and you've got an elder that's instructed. And they understand like, and they what understand, sex is. And they understand uh, they're being taught about sexual ethics. Mm -hmm. I think that's something that we don't really hear about. Yeah. We hear about the act, we hear about sexual pleasure, but we don't but how to conduct sexual, yourself. How to conduct yeah. yourself and again knowing what's right for you. And I think that's mm -hmm. probably missing in like Western cultures you know, depiction about sex, we don't really have about yeah. sexual ethics and we don't really have about sexual consent. Yeah. Well, kind of thing. So yeah, that's I think yeah. we definitely need um like I think the Asian African model is definitely better than the Western one because you've got experienced older people that's putting you up on game. But then don't you that's missing in the current yeah. like, African like normal normal African household now. They'll just say she don't have sex. Because that's we've, it. We've, we've adopted the Western, Western model. Yeah. We've adopted like we leave it to the schools, the mm. parents aren't going to get involved, uh, the uncles aren't going to get involved, you go and learn about sex in school and mm. then when you get to a certain age of maybe 24, 25, where's your wife, where's your husband? Yeah. Mm. yeah. You're saying about you don't know what sex is, so with your experience, do you know what sex is now? Yeah, as an adult, of course I do, but it took years of... So what way is it for you? I feel like it's a special connection between someone you have, it's not just it's a it's a physical action but it's also an emotional one and i feel like children don't understand it they just see sex the dick goes inside and that's it so, they don't yeah. know what emotions you feel after is that is that sex you're speaking about or sexual pleasure and the reason mm. why i'm distinguishing between the two sex like we said at least is just an act mm. penis goes into the vagina that's sex mm. but is it pleasurable now if it's pleasurable mm -hmm. then you need the emotional connection you need yeah. to mentally break. that's that's a different that's a different yeah, yeah but when we speak about sex itself and we generally we use the term interchangeably when they're very different i think for a lot of men I'm, again i'm generalized that sex is generally always pleasurable mm -hmm. whereas with women it's not, it's not. That emotional yeah. components are there so that's why i think it's important if we're speaking about sex we talk about pleasure as well because mm -hmm. yes you could you can have sex but are you enjoying it and mm -hmm. if your mind is not there like we know for women you correct me if I'm wrong, for in order for a woman to really enjoy sex or have an orgasm, she needs to be there mentally. Yeah. Like the mind is like 90%. Yeah. The most important component of sex for, for women, whereas for men, it's not as important. That's why for men, it's kind of seen as you can have sex and you don't really have any connection with that mm -hmm. one person, but then maybe as men, we need to learn to value ourselves. Yeah. I don't think men, I'm speaking for myself as well, we probably don't value ourselves as much as probably women value their bodies. So I can put my penis in anything as long as she gets me aroused. Mm -hmm. When I was relatively young, that's how I viewed it. Whereas yeah. women had that intuition, understanding where they respected their bodies, they wouldn't want to be penetrated by anyone. Yeah. Well, I think that takes years. To, it takes for some people, well, most people, most women, it takes years to understand that yourself. Because even as yeah. a young girl, you think, oh well, I'm doing it for the guy. I don't know why I'm doing it. I'm yeah. not even sure what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm just doing it. But and then after a while, you start to you you realize you feel and sometimes yeah. sad if you've had sex with you don't like. And it's because you're, Ooh. I think because a lot of women, they prioritise men and they'll Yeah, and so it's so back to that society. Yeah. And it's funny because I think a lot of men, they kind of have this sexual awakening or realisation mm. when they have a daughter. Then all of a sudden it's like, now I respect women. Yeah. And it's just like, well, you need to have a daughter in order to respect For women. For you to know how it, And I hear that yeah. a lot and I'm always wondering, is it, is it um, women you respect or your daughter you're trying to protect? Yeah.